Wise up, people. Something a little different. We've got to get in here for my friend. What is up people and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got this little thingy. Now this is my friend's nephew's bike or something. And they were changing the exhaust and they snapped a bolt off in the cylinder. So that is what it's here for. Let's try and get it out. So I shall show you and we shall have a look. If we look here. So we've got one stud sticking out, look, but the other one's broken off and it's literally inside the cylinder head. And they are tiny, they're like M6s. I was hoping for an M8. Because if it was an M8, I've got an M6 left hand tap. Yeah, so we could have just drilled it, tapped it, and as I screwed the left hand thread in, it would have screwed the right thread out. But as we can see, it's not going to be that simple, is it? Because it is right. It's probably two or three threads in. So let me just evaluate the situation, see if we can get a little bit of better access in because we're a bit limited don't we right so looking at it the other stud is snapped as well the thread the end's gone so i think the best course of action because if i've got to try and get up in here and drill this right by this frame gonna be tricky i think best course of action is take the engine out there is not that much on it in there's literally a carb a back exhaust and about four engine bolts and a clutch cable. And it's dropped the engine out. It'd be so much easier then to get it on the bench table. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's just be so much easier. Slack of the back off, take the chain off, undo the engine mount, drop the carb off, put it on the table. So I'll let you watch me take that out because it's not gonna take that long because I've got work. So it can't take that long. Okay. Ten minutes later, and it's on the bench. And I've made a medical cup too. Well, coffee. So, what we got here, as we can see, we are busted off, yeah? And this one is snapped off. I'll show you. See, it's supposed to have a thread on the end. The back ones are in pretty good condition. The front one's questionable. So, what I'm going to do first is put a load of heat on this one. I've only got a little blow thing, but it does a job. So I'll put a load of heat into this one and try and get this out first before we tackle the broken one. He also needs a new crush washer because this is second hand to say the least. I did bring over a pick. So he's gonna have to go and get a new one of these. I mean, oh, the back side's not too bad. The front side is battered. So really that needs replacing. Looks like she's running a little bit rich, to be honest. But this coil lead was barely on. Do you know how it screws into the cap? 
barely on. So yeah, that needs a bit of a tea tweaking as well. So I'm gonna put a heat into this one and see if we can get this one out. So this little bugger was right in there. That's why I decided to use a bit of heat because I didn't want to snap it off because twice the work, isn't it people? So get a bit of heat on it, bosh yeah, get it out. Job done. Right, so that one came out with a bit of heat. It was seized, I did try before I heated it up, by the way. I didn't just heat it up. So, what I'm going to try with this now is I've sharpened one of these. And I'm just going to see if I can knock this round before we go any further. I'm going to put some glasses on now. Right. I'm going to dig in a little bit. And see if I can just knock it around. It probably won't go because it's probably heat treated to frick. Being an exhaust stud. I think it's going to go, you know. Very hard bolt that is. Let me try a different tool. That is an incredibly hard bolt now. Which is probably why it's sheared. Can't get in there to flatten. So if we go five, do you know what I mean? If we can't get in there to flatten the top, what about a punch? Five mil punch. Just to try and hammer flat the uh, the surface. Do you know what I mean? So if I put this five million. It's not going to go any higher than a five. Well, maybe I'll get a little bit bigger in right on the edge. See how we've got that much movement. You know what I mean? We need something that can just put a center dot in the middle. Pretty close. Might go four and a half to start with, I think. So we need to go up at the same rough angle as that one. She's coming. Some drilling oil on. I'll keep it a bit cooler, shall we? To be honest, we will never come drilling. As we stay on the on the bolt, shouldn't be that far off. 
it's going to be quite hard to do because it's an aluminium cast. Yeah. Alright, I'll carry on with this. You can watch. Right boys and girls, so we have sort of got there. It's, you know, it's, this is a bit awkward. There is still some minor, how can I make this better for you to see? Like right that. See threads? So we've managed to cut the threads, as in they're there. Top still got a little bit. See the top of the bolt is still in, so I've got to knock that out first. And then we've got threads which we can run a tap down. So, can okay, no one do his torch? Because there's still bits of a uh, material in the threads. So what we're going to do? I'm going to knock that top out. Then we're going to run an M6 tap down here and see if it's salvageable. If not, I don't mind drilling it out and doing a thread repair. But I want it to it's in the same place, which is why we're trying to salvage what we can salvage. And it doesn't mind, it doesn't matter if you have to drill it out because we've got the hole. You get me? I'm just gonna try and knock that top bit out, see how far I can get with that. Why didn't I do that earlier? Turn the torch around, I had it like that. If I t so it was like that, but if I'd have turned it around, I could have aimed it straight in the hole. Donuts. Tell you what, this is tech in. So fannying around to get this out of here. So I've got to unscrew it. We know that this... Oh, hang on. The bolt was rusty anyway. Gosh, the bed. Why does a five minute job always turn in to something more? Oh, hang on. Come on. Ah, uh, it's like, get it to the edge. Because I'm going to unscrew it down the threads. Well, we know the threads are impeded now, don't we? As soon as I drop pressure off it, it drops back about three threads. Keep right on the edge. Come on. Come on. Hey, there we go, look. There's the bottom half, oops, sorry, of the bolt. You're not gonna zoom. All right, so that's what we've got left. So now we need to try and clean up so we can get a tap in there. Gotta be here somewhere, tap. Might start with the number one, try and group Get the threads at the bottom. You know what I mean? And if you're just not happy with it, we'll just drill it. I really wish I had a small one of them. Alright, this will do. This actually might be too. Might be reaching the bottom. Oh no, it's gone in. Oh yeah, it's gonna go straight to the bottom. So, try another tap. Number two. Definitely think we got threads in there, people. It's just whether it's enough to 
hold an exhaust manifold. Shall see once we get to putting a bolt in. Mm, that has actually got quite. Yeah, it's actually quite good. Let's take it off and see. It looks like inside. I might run this down the other one as well. Just to clean it up. We have quite good threads at the bottom, but I don't think I'm happy with it. Let's see what thread inserts I've got. Right, so I've got M6. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clean off this face a touch. A nice flat surface and we'll drill it, tap it and put a new thread insert in there. That will make me a little bit happier. You know what I mean? got much longer before I have to go and get ready for work Removed all the threads. Then the kit comes with a tap. So this is mine. Look, it's one of these multi-kit things. I've got a few of the other ones as well, the singulars. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna drill. But that really does come in quite useful. The uh, the multi-kit. In straight and flush. So. Oh, I'm gonna think. Take the start measure out. It's right in the freaking way. Hopefully, it's just a pull. It's not. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just a poor one. I don't know, actually. I feel kind of stuck. Ah, oh, she's a come in. Yeah.
Nu vil det større et. Den bliver røveren. Now, you can see. Oh, can I wear the torch? We have a new thread. Yeah? Do it, do it. God, it's really awkward to see. You see the glare. Anyway, you can, I can see. Oh, that's a little bit. There's a thread, right? So now, once you put the thread in, I'm guessing everybody's used these thread inserts before, yeah? You get these little things. Yeah? And then you just screw one in, and it makes the tap you've just put in there, which I just dropped on the floor, which is not the best. This is oversized. And it just then, once that insert's in, it's correct size. Thread inserts. They do call them something else in America. I'm not quite sure, but they are thread inserts. What's the other name for them? Helicoil. It's a helicoil kit. For some reason in America, they call them helicoils. Don't know why they call them helicoils when it's a helicoil. They call it, they say weird. It's like soldering. Solder. It's called solder. Why do they call it soldering? Soldering, it's solder. Like it's some other stuff you like. What? English, just, just what they're doing is they're pronouncing as it's spelt. I don't know, anyway. Helicoil, but it's a helicoil. As in helicopter, helicoil. Right, so anyway, I'm gonna put one of these certs in. Well, they're called nut certs as well. <laughs> I don't know. Ryan, I'm going to get this in, just screw it in, and uh, we're nearly done. This video, considering this was a five minute job. So we'll grab one of these little inserts. Yeah, so you get the little inserts, and it's got like a flat piece on the back. And you push it onto your little tool. Yeah, like that, and you screw it in. So then you just take your time. And this is like a spring and it will automatically find the thread that you've put in there. So you just screw it in. And I normally go just inside. Yeah, just have a look. Go, go, you see it again there. Oh, Jesus, this phone, Shh. gotta get a new phone. See, a new thread. You can get the double length inserts. Well, I've only got those in cylinder bolt sizes, so that will be plenty strong enough. I'm gonna go in a little touch more with it, I think. And then I'm gonna make some new studs for it. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna put the new stud in, but take it home to the bottom and then give it a little bit of a, uh, so the nut is going in and out, not this. I'd say you could lock tight it, but with the heat, would you make any difference? Yeah, but anyway, helicoil, that's what we've done in the end. 
fix it. There's thread there, as you saw. I wasn't quite happy with it. So, quick little fix. So now, all I've got to do is get ready for work. Doop. Finish that. Put it back together. Drop it back in the frame. And you can come and get it. Basically, he's brought one of these kits. And it's not the bestest of kits, but it's an exhaust. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then get his little hot rod back on the road. It's another biker. Ryan, thanks for watching me make an absolute meal again in this today. But now we are fixed thread inserts with a heli coil. And I'll catch you in the next one, people. Get out of there. Ryan, so there we go. So that's the back pipe bolted onto the front. And we're all good. And it's nice and tight. Oh shit, can't do that too much. Not bad. Can the engine fall off? Oh shit. <laughs> right, ignore I did that. But yeah, nice and tight. Those bolts are bottomed out. And it's, it's nipped up probably a thread and a half before. But he's got new washers. He has actually got new ones to go in there. We should bush it out a bit. And I'll probably say, just put a little bit of copper slip on these bolts so it won't seize in again. Right, wicked. See you later, people. I'll put the engine back in tomorrow, by the way.